I want to talk about one of the most challenging stories for you that was that you know took place over a tough stretch of time, which was your falling out with Reza mm -hmm. and then getting back together with him. So what was that? Erica, what was that like on the oh, it was heartbreaking. network side? It was heartbreaking and it was so difficult. And, you know, but MJ was going through a lot. You know, she had yeah. had a very difficult pregnancy mm -hmm. and, and that's where it stemmed from. And all I wanted or we wanted from the network side was for you guys to find each other again and to somehow repair your friendship. But, you know, as much as we want it, it had to come from you guys also wanting it. Mm -hmm. And it took a minute to get there. I mean, we had, and it happened during, you know, the pandemic happened midway through and we had one of the most brutal reunions during the, oh, God. oh God, right? I think that's the only thing you won't air is you will not be able to find that Zoom reunion oh, anywhere. It was Seriously, brutal. they buried that shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's so, it was so sad. It was so it was sad. Awful. It was awful. And I've, there was just so many tears on both ends. And, you know, what that shows to me is how much you also love each other mm -hmm. is that the level of anger that was there was because there's so much love there yeah. too. If you didn't care, it didn't matter, right? right. It doesn't Absolutely. matter if you don't Passion. Care. Right. And such a bad medium to do when there's so much emotion to yeah. have the Zoom. And then um, we were holding on to so much. We were like, uh, so first of all, Tommy had to forgive Reza. Of course that kid was not gonna forgive Reza that quickly. He's too much of a wounded kid yeah. himself. That made it feel really hard because I felt like Reza and I have enough t work to do to heal that we don't need anybody that's pushing for us to stay apart. And we had more people that were happy, like just because there was this unfortunate power play, like, oh, well, like, is this gonna make me closer with with Reza if if MJ and Reza have fallen out? And this is like a good time for us to thrive. And it's like, that's not fun. Yeah. What's fun is when we can all get on a bus and drive four hours to Big Bear on like this one lane road and have fun and not have so much tension that we can't have any fun. We needed more therapy. That's what I realized for that Zoom reunion mm -hmm. where we were just so explosive. It was like, how can you expect? It's like having, like asking a 14 year old boy to hold his orgasm. Like how, you know, like <laughs> how could we wait this many months? And then with that medium of yeah. that Zoom and all those big feelings and also social media, like egging stuff on. Mm -hmm. And I would I would call Kathleen and Erica and Lauren and I would be like, are you, do you see this? Like, do you see what he's doing? And like, can you tell him, who's gonna tell him like to stop? And you know, like not someone, sometimes someone can't talk people into doing what they're doing if their feelings are big. So Thank God it healed. There were so many conversations had, you know, just trying to navigate that and try to figure out if, a, if there was a way to come back. Yeah. You know, I, I always think about like what would have been had we not been able to get there. I don't remember. Yeah. I just, my mom, you guys walked, got, she was on that oh, episode yeah. too. So she got up and came and just stood in the threshold of that, frame and just the sadness in her eyes of the way that she was looking at me. Like she's never seen me that upset or screaming like that. She just had a, a like such a pain in her face that she then came in and like saved us at the end coming in and like Vita saves a day. My mom who almost wasn't going to make that reunion episode. She was called by Andy to like sit down and my mom, I'm going to cry. I'm not going to cry. Um, she said, you know, Andy, <laughs> you know, Andy, only few things in life that are old are good. And one is friendship. So she definitely shepherded us to um, a good place. Oh, my God. I ended up calling Reza. We met at a park. We 
spent like, I don't know, four hours sitting in the grass. Um, I was texting you, mm -hmm. like crying and texting Erica. You know, it was just like a really good, big first step of one to be more. And it was like, okay, when can we do this again? You know, like tomorrow and <laughs> like, can we, yeah, like tomorrow, Friday, a week, like, is it too fast? And then we had so many hour long conversations to get back to a place. So I have a question. Do Tommy and Reza speak now? Like, you know, it depends. <laughs> okay. You know, like they did have to see each other in court uh -huh. and they did crack a joke and both of them were laughing. And that was, <laughs> I know, a long time ago now. But it was like, if given the opportunity, mm -hmm. they really made it cute and they were la like they were laughing. Well, they're very funny people. They are so funny. And let's not forget, like the four of us used to go to Palm Springs oh, and yeah. just like take the long way home and break yeah. like the whole weekend together in the same house. And so it meant a lot that they used that moment that was so tense because mm -hmm. who's ever comfortable in court? Right. No, I mean, it's the most awkward situation. Even like, for like a traffic ticket, yeah. even just to like pay a speeding oh, ticket. Yeah. And they use that moment just to like make yeah. each other laugh and bond. Love that. Yeah. I don't know what, maybe how do we and get them together more or, you know, put the kids in like, mm -hmm. you know, kids are always like a reason to yeah. you know, put people together. Do you, um, do you talk to Mike? I love, I would love to talk to Mike. Mm -hmm. Mike is not, he's very evasive because he is the polar opposite of me, has been so private and scrutinized and criticized for being a kid that's growing up with like the pressure of like representing every Persian Jewish kid that's ever lived. You know, he feels the weight of that. I think that Mike has a lot of regrets that he's still working through. Yeah. So I get like little emojis with Mike. I get like little like mm -hmm. positive, like, you know, he's still like very much on his healing path and he's working his hardest to get to a good place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With Asa, what happened between you and her at that point then? I just got really mad at her and I felt like I was also had people in my ear that were like, you're kind of a fool because you are sharing everything with someone who is actively deceiving you from like having the exact same experience. And so my now husband, my best friend were all saying, do you know that like the doctor is opening the office like two hours early to sneak her in while you're also going to do like something at 6 a.m., like the way the fertility, the IVF process would work. And so I really just felt so shell-shocked. I was like, I just didn't, it didn't make sense to me. So I just lashed out and I never salvaged. I also think it does take two to tango. Yeah. I do think that it was probably hard to have a Jackson. I think that Jermaine was probably a lot less open to her sharing her authentic self than Tommy. Like, right. I at least say what you will about my roughneck, but like he let me be who I was, you know, he didn't like try to cuckold me or anything. So like that allowed me to feel like I could, I didn't have to like find out how to move around in the space yeah. of making TV. So I think that's what happened with us. But I mean, then when Reza and her, fell out and didn't stay in touch, then I thought that really was hard to understand. Where are you with her now? The last time that I had a communication was when, not even when our kids were born, mm -hmm. just when my father passed away, she was, she sent a text and I like thanked her for it. And so that would be six years. Mm -hmm. Head over to bravotv.com slash podcast to catch us clearing up some of the biggest reality TV production rumors and having a little fun along the way.